Roaches are excellent feeder insects for reptiles, amphibians, tarantulas, and other invertebrates. But there are a number of different roach species available, and some keepers have trouble deciding which one is best for their pet. We'll try to help you decide by breaking down the differences between two of the best options, discoid roaches and dubia roaches. Let's jump right in. First, let's compare their nutritional value. Both dubia and discoid roaches are packed with the essential nutrients insectivorous pets need. But there are some key differences worth noting. For example, discoid roaches have a bit more moisture in their bodies. This makes them a better choice for pets who are prone to gut impaction. Both of these roach species also contain different amounts of fat, with dubia roaches having more. So, if your pet needs help bulking up, you may want to select dubia roaches. Conversely, if your pet needs to shed some extra weight, discoid roaches may be the better option. Chitin content is another key consideration. The key component of an insect's exoskeleton, chitin is a tough material that some animals have trouble processing. This means that animals who are susceptible to gut impaction should be fed dubia roaches, as they have less chitin than discoid roaches. Protein is also something you'll want to consider when choosing between these two roach species. While both roaches have high protein content, discoid roaches contain more protein and have a wider variety of amino acids. This makes discoid roaches the better option for pets whose protein needs are paramount. An insect's calcium to phosphorus ratio is also important to think about when selecting feeders. Because phosphorus inhibits calcium absorption, you want insects with a high calcium to phosphorus ratio to ensure good bone health. With a 1 to 3 calcium to phosphorus ratio, discoid roaches are clearly preferable to dubia roaches, whose ratio is 1 to 22. In terms of total caloric content, both insects score roughly equally as adults. However, dubia nymphs contain slightly more energy per gram, while discoid roaches grow slightly larger as adults. So, dubia nymphs may be preferable for small insectivores, but adult discoids may be better for keeping larger pets satiated with a smaller number of feeders. Both species are easy to care for, and you can breed either by setting up a small colony. Neither can fly or bite, so they're both easy to handle. However, dubia roaches have reportedly caused allergic reactions in some people. Finally, it is important to consider the legality of these insects. Dubia roaches are banned in Florida and some other states, while discoid roaches are typically legal everywhere. But always verify your local laws before ordering either roach species. We hope you found this video helpful and that you now have a better idea about which insect is best for your pets. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications to see more reptile, amphibian, and invertebrate care videos. And don't forget to visit thecritterdepot.com for all your feeder insect needs. Thanks for watching.